Do they come pretty sharp? Twenty-seven. I guess that's a good size. Oh, yeah. So, did you bleed your fish out? I do, yeah. Okay. Did you just reach in there? My finger, watch out for the teeth on the silvers. Okay. Yeah. There's a hook on the other side, so be careful. I oh, okay. cut it. <laughs> so I do that on both sides, and then they'll just bleed out. Okay. I cut them there, but that, but it's better to rip the whole gill, yeah. Yeah, it's the same thing. I'm just too lazy to get my knife out. I'll always do the fish facing away from me. Put my finger under the fin there, so I can kind of pull that back and it kind of pulls that Okay. Under. Do one gentle cut going back. I'm trying not to break through that rib cage. Yeah, so try not to go too far into that rib cage, otherwise I'll start flaying through those guts. So then the backbone. Oh, okay. So it's right there is where the backbone is. Okay. So I want to get my knife tip right above the backbone, but not all the way in that I'm pushing through that rib cage and getting those Gotcha, guts gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's right there. I'm just kind of going to go back to here, and I poke through, and then I fillet down. And then I lift it up and I go around the ribs. Around the outside. Uh, rather, yeah. So here my knife tip is just it's either hitting the backbone or it's going right above it. Probably, yeah, I was going to say you'll see that twitching. Oh, yeah. That's fine. So let's go back. So you're kind of pushing the knife down on top of it? Yep. The side of it, the side of the knife? And then once I have an angle past the, uh, the anus here, you know, past the anal fin, I go in. There we go. And there you're just slicing it right over the top right. of the... And then you'll get two rows of bones. You have your pin bones, which are right about here. You gotta cut through those, and then the ribs start right about there, and you don't wanna cut through those. So you go outside of those. Yeah, so you see those pin bones if you look in there. See those guys? Okay. Oh, you gotta get direction. Looks like I already got the pin bones in them. Oh, is that is that the row of them right there? Yeah, there we go. So okay. I'm on the ribs now. Okay. So when I get the ribs, I wanna kinda just hook above them like that. And so I'm just gliding over those ribs. So slowly. This is where the finesse comes in. Here. Actually, it's not too bad if you just, it's just the angle, once you get the angle right. And this little bit there. So that nice. you're around there, gravity kind of takes over. Missed a little bit there, but so oh, gravity no, no. takes over. And okay. And here I usually go a little further. I think this was a female. It looks like it was a male. Oh yeah, it is a male. Keep the bellies here. Do I? Mm -hmm. No. I mean, I don't know. Do I? <laughs> Some people like to smoke the nose. So once you're here, you can kind of go down. So there's a little thin bit of skin right there between the belly. Gotcha. And the I'm just okay. Okay. That. Long strokes. I want to go right around that thin because right there, there's all that bone and nasty stuff. Wow, that is some rich looking stuff, isn't it? And then what is that? That's oh, is that a rib? These ribs, yeah, the ribs I cut out, the belly, the, the, ceiling, whatever you call it, the, uh, the belly there, kind of the belly skin, obviously.
Nobody's taking your spot, are they? Yeah, it's okay. Let's look at them. And that's the anal fin? Or yeah, what beside the anal fin? So on the other side. So I always do the fish, so um, the, head, the, up, the head is facing me. With a belly away from me, you mean? Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Harder just because you don't have that, you know, you're kind of, you don't have the other side of the fish to, hold to support it. Right. Okay. And then here it's just a very narrow, just a guide cut down. So this cut just kind of keeps it from going all the way through and messing things up. And then you're lifting and looking. Yep. So. Pin, bones. Pin bones, okay. Usually the ribs will stop you from going all the way Because they're thick. Yeah, they're pretty thick. I'm just trying to make it through. All the way. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then you're sliding that along the spine there? Mm hmm. So you don't want to go too low because you'll cut into the spine. You don't want to go too high because you'll miss some meat. Last one, kind of cut it up. Same thing here. We'll go through this. So we've already gone through the pin bones. That you, you kind of have to angle the knife down so you're not cutting across the, you know, through that meat but against the ribs. Save as much meat but get right against the ribs. Yeah. How are the dogs? Oh, they're good. <laughs> they're they're, they're happy to be in the car, probably. Oh, yeah. A little miserable in the rain. Yeah, Tinny the Spaniel mix whatever is my father's dog, and she she knows she shouldn't growl, but she can't help it, so i got to introduce her to everyone who comes by, or she'll <laughs> just keep growling all day. Oh, growling's not a big deal. Yesterday we were up on the Montana picking up dogs, and this girl was across from us, and her dog was just barking and barking and barking incessantly. Like every ten minutes she'd say, shut up, and it would be quiet for like ten seconds. <laughs> I think the worst is when the owners are more annoying than the dogs and the owners are shouting at the dogs. Like, Shut up! But, and don't enforce it. Yeah, exactly. Well, yeah, I mean, if the dog is going to keep barking and yelling at it, it's not going to change its It's not productive. Anyway. Yeah. Or uh, jogging yesterday, a couple days ago, and someone's dog ran out. And one of the dogs, you know, the dog was just excited and kind of bit me in the hand a little bit, didn't break the skin. And the owner just doesn't even apologize, just starts wailing on his dog. <laughs> just like, Oh no. It's more your fault than the dog's. <laughs> if your dog does this, you should be on a, you know, you shouldn't just be letting him run around the neighborhood. So I went a little bit low on the fin there. You usually just slide under. So there'll be a layer of kind of bones and stuff, and you just kind of lay under those bones. That'll get your fin off. Look at that. And then, so when you do, before you vacuum seal it or before you serve it, see this this, this row of pin bones? Mm -hmm. Those are the only bones that you're going to, uh, maybe those ones there. But, no, I think these are the only ones you're going to have in the fillet. So if you pull those out with pliers, you don't have any Just bones. pop each one of them out? Yep. They stop right there? Yep, exactly. Sweet. Now I'm going to have to go home and practice. Yeah. Thanks for showing me, taking the yeah, time to do that. 